is Gray's Harbor. So we're right here at Westport. And then later we're gonna go down here and we're gonna be on the ocean side, right here. Not the harbor side. And that's where we'll find lots of sand on. Here we are at Westport. We're right at the mouth of Gray Harbor. It's the southernmost peninsula known as Point Chehalis. Not sure if I pronounced that right. This area was in regular use as a summer resort by local Native American tribes. But that was before Thomas Parker Speakey and his family, who were the first white settlers. They arrived here early in the summer of 1857. The lighthouse over there was dedicated in 1898. was a town. Now the population is about 2,000. A lot of fishing boats. I know some people in Kansas who are fishermen that would love being out here, right Mo? Well, you go and you get the big fish. Actually, you can uh, sign up. They take you out. You go fishing. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Here's what we're hoping to find, but they'll be bigger, I hope. Sand dollars, not sunflowers.
uh, if you ever come out here to visit those are little cabins you can stay in those are cute and then you can walk all around Westport some sand dollars not sunflowers no sand dollars well they do have sunflowers here in fact we're growing Born by the ocean on Long Island. Went there a lot, an awful lot as a kid, as a young adult. Too. Never thought I'd be going to the ocean with a face mask. Never. And here I am, going to the ocean in a face mask. things. If it's low tide, you can find a lot of them. And we have a bunch of them at the house, but after a while, the seagulls come in and they peck to eat the inside of the sand dollar, like that hole on this one. It's a nice sand dollar, though. Hey, guys, where's everyone going? Come here, guys. No need to run. Is it a huge dinosaur bone? Karen's collecting wood on the beach. She sees a project and it is. I'm gonna string it from the ends and then down below I will string some beautiful bright colored beads. Beautiful bright colored beads in case you couldn't hear over the ocean breeze and waves. Oh yes. And I know it, and my feet show it because they're long fellows. He used to write me poetry back in the day. That's a razor clam. That's a pretty massive tree stump. These things float in from the ocean because you're in the forest primeval. So these are huge. Look at the size of that thing. And then this one the size of that.
one's a pretty good looking sand dollar. We'll take that home. Well, we're coming back off the beach and I'm telling you, I say it was really hot. It was very hot. Karen did get a bag of plunder. I did. Some craft things. I'll be crafting, we'll show you later. Probably had to do that stuff this winter. Well, when we get back, I'm going to show you some of the sand dollars that we've collected. As of next week's video, I don't know. Where should we go? I'm thinking Lake Sylvia. Maybe a wooden bridge, something like that. Yeah. Alrighty, Those are folks. Fun. Again, stay safe. Bye. Wear these masks. <laughs> Here we have several of the many, many sand dollars we have collected at Westport in the last two, three years. And sometimes we've come back with like three dozen at one time. Here's one that is in pristine condition. Perfect. I have taken some of these many ones and soaked them in a little bit of Clorox to whiten them a little and then do a thin layer of mix of glue and water and put on top of that and then you paint a lovely scene.